What's up YouTube, it's me JSpec back at you with another video. This time it's the comparison video as promised between my HP laptop versus my Lenovo IdeaPad laptop, all right? The HP is i5, the Lenovo is i3. HP cost me $499 after $100 off, and the Lenovo cost me $400 after $50 off, all right? So let's go into the comparison video it's because I got a lot of messages that you guys want to see this. Let's do it. All right, both computer off right now. I'm going to have my daughter press the HP power while I press the Lenovo. So hold on. One, two, three. I think I pressed the Lenovo slightly faster, just slightly faster. But as you can see, the Lenovo boot up faster than the HP and this one is running an i5 and this one is running an i3 okay I'm good thanks for the help um they both have backlit keyboard as you can see right there with Lenovo you have to press this button and that where the HP, you just press this button right here. You see that? Press it one times, the brightest, the medium, the lowest. All right? Now, the comparison between the two. Let me put in my password real quick, right? And then this one. They both has SSD to 156 gigabyte. Like I said, this is i5 and this is i5, i3. The, the flaws, this one already having problem with the camera. The camera is actually broken already, but it has the privacy shutter mode right there. You can see it right there. Open, close, right? Where the HP does not have a privacy shutter, but it has two mic. One right there, one right there. You see it? But there is no privacy cover. You have to put a sticker or something like that. Where this one, it has a privacy right but it's only have one mic right here see has privacy but only one mic so the most thing that you will notice after you using the hp for a while which is you will notice that the fan get louder this idea pad is so quiet but battery life the hp is better than this lenovo idea pad the boot time as you can see when it was boot off i pressed this like like one second faster but still you can see the difference that the lenovo boot up way faster than the actual hp and this is running an i5 and this is running an i3 what else um the trackpad you can see it this is like less wider, but it's bigger. The HP is, is shorter with the height, but it's wider. Okay. You notice that? It's slightly wider. And this one is just slightly, barely like, you know, but it's higher. What else? This is HP Pavilion. This is the Lenovo idea pad. S340 for the sound though um this HP you see this all of this is a speaker and this is running the Bang Olsen um speaker Intel Core i5 right there where this one as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go on YouTube right now. You, I'm gonna let you guys listen to it. Like, 
the sound is kind of low and on top of it it just I don't know it just it's just low right I'm just gonna play any any video here you still hear the noise that's the sound quality for the that's the sound quality for the Lenovo S340 That's Lenovo S340. Now we're gonna get to YouTube. Over here. And then we're gonna see how is it. As you can hear it. So as you can see, um, the difference in sound is night and day. I prefer the HP over the Lenovo for the sound. And then for the fan, for the quietness of the actual laptop, I prefer the S340 over the HP because this will get louder. Like, you know, after it gets hotter, where this one just maintain nice and quiet, period. And the brightness. This one is way better, more brightener, more brighter compared to this one, this one is more warm color. You can see it right there compared to this. In my opinion, this is more like, I don't know. It's like warmer color. But as far as the screen resolution, I prefer the HP, right? They both touch screen, right? Touch screen, touch screen. Screen, um, screen responsive is pretty much the same. What else? Boot up time, you already know. This is faster. Um, what else you want to know? Oh, battery life. Battery life, this is way shorter. I'm telling you, like, maybe like two and a half hours. Right? Where this one, I get like three and a half-ish. With the full brightness, um, the price, like I say, four ninety nine i five, four hundred i three. But I bought this last year, where the Costco stopped making this computer. Actually, they just out. I cannot find it anywhere. I cannot buy the S three forty anywhere. Where this one is, is still in Costco website for that price, three no. Five ninety nine minus one one hundred off. I'm not sure if it's that thing still work, but yeah. And what else? Oh, this is using a Wi-Fi six connection, where the Lenovo is using AC wireless, all right. And with the Lenovo, I was having trouble connecting because of sub some setting on the intel i3 you need to shut off the five gigahertz you have to click it off where this one connect to my wi-fi 6 router smooth no problem no problem with the internet connection where lenovo i had problem and i used the camera literally and another thing you hear that noise when you open it close it make that noise where the HP is just smooth like no noise maybe because this is an older computer I'm not sure but you have that noise where this one you don't have it because maybe it's new and 
the stylish um how it looks like lenovo it just really really settled really look at that and the hp logo is right there there's nothing here they're both the same material this one is like has some coating on top or this one is just here i'll let you listen to it all right like i say speaker way better um the design wise i would go with hp over the lenovo any day though and let's close the laptop that's the lenovo the hp just look i don't know more expensive looking right maybe because of the hp logo the glass where lenovo just like eh, lenovo the bottom see that the fan right there where the hp there's not a fan but i'm telling you this hp is louder than the lenovo and look at this the hp has two us high-speed usb Um, memory card slot USB-C I like this HP has an actual plug for straight internet plug in HDMI right and um, your microphone right there but as far as the Lenovo it's lacking connection for real it comes to the high-speed USB right there two of them right the memory card slot the reset button right there and on the other side it has HDMI connection USB-C and the microphone plug and the power cable you, you notice what's not in there is that cat5 connection right so if you ask me the Lenovo over the HP besides the noise issue I give everything out of five I give the Lenovo a score of four no I give the Lenovo a score of 2.5 the HP I give score five or the Lenovo 3.5 HP is five all right the only flaw about this HP computer like I said is the actual fan noise that's about it but everything else the hp one so with that said so with that said i hope that's a good enough comparison video between the two laptop i hope you make it easier for you to choose whether you want the hp or the lenovo like i said if I had a choice between those two, the Lenovo has a faster boot time and it's quiet where the HP has a slower boot time, but it's the screen brighter, the sound better, and he has the straight Cat5 hookup too. So, and it looks more richer. I don't know. It just looks more expensive, the HP. Of course, it is $100 more, but what I'm saying is that I prefer the HP over the Lenovo because the Lenovo having so much issue with my Wi-Fi 6 internet connection. It was just a headache with the Lenovo compared to the HP. It was just smooth, flawless. Everything just connect easily like a breeze. Maybe because the HP is a newer model, this year computer model, when I bought the Lenovo was 2019 model, right? But um, that's all I can say about those two computers. Let me know what you think about it. And make sure to subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace out. Check out the giveaway playlist, all right? It's me just talking about peace. Yeah.